Okay, so by this point, we can pretty much unanimously agree that skill-based matchmaking is absolutely killing Modern Warfare 3. That's not to say that I think that this game is bad, because I don't. I've said a million times at its core, Modern Warfare 3 is an absolutely amazing Call of Duty to play. Everything feels fluid, the movement is brilliant, the guns feel fun to use, the gunplay is really quite satisfying. And by all accounts, I really feel like Call of Duty is returning to, like, a proper arcade shooter. But if the skill-based matchmaking doesn't finish this game off, I know for certain what will if it isn't addressed in the next couple of weeks. And that's this incessant packet burst. Now look, you're going to have to turn to someone a lot smarter than me to understand why this packet burst is happening, but you don't have to look very far to see someone who is absolutely sick to the back teeth of it. And in this video, I really want to talk about exactly why this packet burst is such a big deal and why it's going to end up turning 90% of the player base away that haven't already been turned away by the skill-based matchmaking. Now look, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know exactly what packet burst even is. All I know is that it's causing this hitchiness, this sort of rubber bandiness, what we used to call lag when everything was a lot simpler back in my day and it's making the game in some instances pretty much unplayable. A lot of people have been coming at me when I've been making these videos about skill-based matchmaking saying oh look you're scared of a bit of competition. I play Counter-Strike and Valorant and if I was running over noobs every game I'd quit because it would bore me. I don't see why it's different for Call of Duty players. You should all like skill-based matchmaking and to a degree I can almost see where you're coming from there but there are a few glaring issues here that make it pretty much impossible to treat this game competitively. And one of the biggest reasons why you can't treat it competitively has got to be this packet burst. So fair enough, you want to play Call of Duty competitively, you don't want to go against people of a lower skill level to you, that's fine. Use your raw skill to overcome people of a similar skill to you. But oh wait, you can't because every time I line someone up in my sights, every time I get more than like two or three kills and I look like I'm about to streak up, I am hit with the most egregious hitching lag packet burst that I've ever experienced in online multiplayer videos games. I have tried everything to try and solve this issue. I've turned on-demand streaming textures off, I've reset my router, I've cleared the cache on Call of Duty, and everything is pointing to one thing. It's not my PC. It is not my ISP. It's nothing to do with anything on my end. There is nothing I can do to solve this issue, except maybe sit in my chair and shout at the internet for five to ten minutes. The packet burst issue is clearly on the server side, and it's something that is borderline unforgivable from a publisher that is literally raking in billions and billions of dollars. And look, keep skill-based matchmaking in your game if you really want. If it's making you that much money, then fine, but use that money to either buy or maintain proper dedicated servers for this game. If you're gonna force us to sweat 24-7 and play in this super, super anti-consumer environment, then at least make the game run smooth. At least make it, and maybe this is too much to ask, but so that the connection in this multiplayer game is actually good and that my gunfights are actually fair and not ruined by some weird little hitch and packet burst. I'm the first one to absolutely hate it when you hear a YouTuber complaining about something that they simply do not understand. And yeah, I get it, I don't have a solution to this, but at the end of the day, I haven't gone to university to study how to make games. I haven't the first clue where to even start when multiplayer games connection is concerned, but what I do know is I have played hundreds of multiplayer titles over the years and I have never experienced this sort of packet loss ever on any game ever. Whether it's a studio with a billion dollar budget or whether it's a small indie title that have just released their first game. Nothing like this has ever happened when I've been playing video games and for that reason I really can't see why it can't be fixed in Modern Warfare 3. I am trying so hard to enjoy this game and for the most part I really am. Especially when you manage to get those lobbies that aren't riddled with skill based matchmaking and it almost feels like Call of Duty of old and you're able to streak up a bit and you're able to unlock some camos and make some progress and then bam you're hit with packet burst and everything just goes to shit. It doesn't matter how good the lobby is. It doesn't matter how good you're playing. It doesn't matter if you've adapted to the skill-based matchmaking and you're holding angles and you're only running meta guns. If you're hit by this packet burst, any competitiveness goes completely out the window because you're no longer on a fair playing field. And if it isn't sorted out soon, I really can't see that many people are going to stick around and play this game for much longer because it honestly is that bad of a problem. And again, maybe it's one of those things that's only affecting people with a slightly higher skill level because the casual player 
player probably doesn't even know that it's happening. But at the end of the day, if we got skill-based matchmaking affecting the more skilled player base, we got packet burst disproportionately affecting the same player base. There's only so many things people will take before they just up and leave Call of Duty for good. In a few weeks, we're probably going to have X Defiant or at least something to do with X Defiant playing. A game that's already throwing shade at Call of Duty by adding most of the things that Call of Duty has taken away over the years and actively saying at the forefront of their marketing that there won't be strict skill-based matchmaking. This should worry Call of Duty. This poses a real threat for Modern Warfare 3 and they really need to sort their shit out before X Defiant drops and what is left of the Call of Duty player base flocks over to there in their hundreds and thousands and leaves Modern Warfare 3 to die. Which, as I've explained in many of my videos, would be such a shame because Modern Warfare 3 is a genuinely good game and if we sorted out the packet burst and we sorted out the matchmaking, I could see it bringing in hundreds of players who have left Call of Duty and swore off it because of these things in the past. I know the argument for skill-based matchmaking and stuff like that is to earn more money, but surely, surely if we attract the core Call of Duty player base back to this game, that's going to bring in more revenue as well. Look, I'm sorry this video has turned into a bit of a rant. I do really enjoy this game and I've got nothing but good things to say about Sledgehammer, the developers of this game. And if you want to see my opinion on just how well these developers are handling Modern Warfare 3, then I suggest you check out yesterday's video where I talk about it in great lengths. Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Everett Joel. Peace.